As I reflect upon what's happened, um, the scripture that comes to mind is Isaiah 55, 8. For my ways are not your ways, nor are my thoughts your thoughts, say the Lord. Um, originally coming to Ohio from San Diego, my husband and I and two children stopped basically in Toledo and I was going to spend some time with Dennis and Don, my son and daughter-in-law, while John went on to New York to get a job and help his parents out. Then I would join them. Um, long story short, things uh, took a turn. He went to work and never came home. He had a heart attack at work and he passed away. And I just went into a, a period of grieving and I grieved for three years. I dealt with things in San Diego and closed up all that, but I ended up staying with my son and daughter-in-law and uh, other than reading and praying and, and just staying in the house, didn't do anything except take care of my grandson. And I didn't go outside, I, I, I developed fear. Fear to go outside, fear to do anything that went outside these walls. I would listen to church services, I would sing and I would praise and, and be with the Lord, but I couldn't function with people. And then, it must have been a couple of years later, I received a letter. And this is the letter. I still have it. And this was sent by um, pastor's wife, Shirley Ann. And I'm going to read a paragraph that really spoke to me. It says, God spoke to my heart and said that women who have been bottled up for years and have not been able to say what was going on inside of them, that they would be set free of their pain. And those who have been sidelined by disappointments, sidelined by the devil's onslaught, sidelined by the actions of people, and those who need emotional healing, and those who have been wounded in battle and are devastated beyond hope would be healed. And I said, that's for me, I need to go. So I went and it was, it was wonderful. And there, there was a, a call to come forward for anybody who was in ministry and, and those um, who've been wounded and hurt. And uh, just then I just got this inside me and it, I just heard, you know, just go forward. I'm not going home the way I came. And so I went forward and the women prayed and I was set free. There definitely was a change. Uh, you know, when my mom came back after that session, uh, there was no doubt in my mind that uh, she had been delivered uh, from, from that type of bondage, if you will. I have joy in my life now. I go places, I do things. I'm excited to go to church. I'm excited for the friends I'm meeting. Um, I'm excited. Every day I'm excited. I attend a growth track. I've been baptized after 24 years. And I just can't wait to see what the Lord has planned for my life.